Hello, and welcome to Evening Reading and Prayer. It's Tuesday, September the 1st of 2020. This evening, our prayer resources are taken from the PCUSA's Book of Daily Prayer from the Evening Prayer Resource. Psalm 139, 11 and 12. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. Let us pray. We praise you, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, by whose word the shadows of evening fall. Your wisdom opens the gates of the morning. Your understanding orders the changes of time and seasons. Your will controls the stars as they travel through the skies. You are the creator of both night and day, making light recede before darkness and darkness before light. You cause day to pass and bring on the night, setting day and night apart. You are the Lord of hosts. Living and eternal God, rule over us always to the end of time. Blessed are you, O Lord, whose words make evening fall. Amen. Our first scripture reading this evening is Acts chapter 11, verses 19 through 30. Now those who had been scattered by the persecution in connection with Stephen traveled as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, telling the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks also, telling them the good news about the Lord Jesus. The Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the ears of the church at Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the evidence of the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of people were brought to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Tarsus to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch, so for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great numbers of people. The disciples were called Christians first at Antioch. During this time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them, named Agabus, stood up and through the Spirit predicted that a severe famine would spread over the entire Roman world. This happened during the reign of Claudius. The disciples, each according to his ability, decided to provide help for the brothers living in Judea. This they did, sending their gift to the elders by Barnabas and Saul. And from the Gospel of John, chapter 8, verses 21 to 32. Once more, Jesus said to them, I am going away. And you will look for me, and you will die in your sin. Where I go, you cannot come. This made the Jews ask, will he kill himself? Is that why he says, where I go, you cannot come? But he continued, you are from below, I am from above. You are of this world, I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. If you do not believe that I am the one I claim to be, you will indeed die in your sins. Who are you? They asked. Just what I have been claiming all along, Jesus replied. I have much to say in judgment of you, but he who sent me is reliable, and what I have heard from him I tell the world. They did not understand that he was telling them about his father, so Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am the one I claim to be, and that I do nothing on my own, but speak just what the Father has taught me. The one who sent me is with me. 
He has not left me alone, for I always do what pleases him. And even as he spoke, many put their faith in him. The Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. I came across this reading, which is a prayer by Henry Nouwen, from the daily uh, meditation that I receive. And this is what he wrote. Dear Lord, today I thought of the words of Vincent van Gogh. It is true there is an ebb and flow, but the sea remains the sea. You are the sea. Although I experience many ups and downs in my emotions and often feel great shifts and changes in my inner life, you remain the same. Your sameness is not the sameness of a rock, but the sameness of a faithful lover. Out of your love, I came to life. By your love, I am sustained, and to your love, I am always called back. There are days of sadness and days of joy. There are feelings of guilt and feelings of gratitude. There are moments of failure and moments of success. But all of them are embraced by your unwavering love. O Lord, sea of love and goodness, let me, fear, let me not fear too much the storms and winds of my daily life, and let me know there is ebb and flow, but the sea remains the sea. Amen. Let us pray. We rejoice in your generous goodness, O God and celebrate your lavish gifts to us this day. For you have shown your love in giving Jesus Christ for the salvation of the world. Especially we give thanks for the labors of those who have served us today. Friends with whom we have shared. Those whom we love and have loved us. Opportunities for our work to help others. All beauty that delights us. And Lord, hear our silent prayers of thanksgiving. Gracious God, we know you are close to all in need. And by our prayers for others, we come closer to you. We are bold to claim for others your promises of new life in Jesus Christ as we claim them for ourselves. Especially, we pray for those in dangerous occupations. Physicians, nurses, first responders, and frontline workers. those who are ill or confined to long-term care. Those who mourn. Teachers and students and their families as they plan to return to school in a very different season. the church as we plan to reopen sanctuaries for in-person worship. And Lord, hear our personal silent prayers for those whom we love and those for whom we are concerned. Great God, you are one God, and you bring together what is scattered and mend what is broken. Unite us with the scattered peoples of the earth that we may be one family of your children. Bind up all our wounds and heal us in spirit that we may be renewed as disciples of Jesus Christ, our Master and Savior. Amen. May the God of peace sanctify you entirely. 
And may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Amen. Good night.